Hi everyone. I am fixing to make some chicken and tater salad. I got some tea going. First thing I'm gonna do is get my chicken seasoned up and in the pot. Okay. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm sick of this weather. <laughs> These are a little stuck. This might take me a minute. Okay. Not too long. Alrighty. So, fixing me and my daughter a little Sunday dinner here. Let me grab a towel. I'm peeling potatoes. I'm kind of multitasking right now. Okay. So, I'm just going to season these up a little and plop them in the oven. I got, because I'm going to make them a kind of a barbecue, I got a little cumin here. Give it that smoky taste. A little turmeric. A little chili powder. If there's something here I'm using you don't like, don't use it. I love when people get like, I don't like that. Well, don't use it. It's okay. You won't hurt my feelings. Okay. Little onion powder. Okay. Little garlic salt. Oops, wrong side. We don't want it pouring out. And since a lot of the seasoning just spilt in the pan, I'm just going to roll them to get the other side. A little garlic powder. A little pepper. My dog's happy. He loves chicken. A little seasoned tenderizer. His name is Buddy, and I call it being on the Buddy Craig diet because he eats half our food. <laughs> he won't hardly touch our food. Okay. Uh, now I'm just going to roll them over with some of the seasonings that were on the other side. You know, that followed into the pan. Use those. Waste not, want not. So I'm just going to pop these in the oven. No rush with them. They're going to go in at 350. It's so hot I should have probably just made everything in the oven. But I didn't. Okay. Now I've got my water boiling. I'm going to chop up some celery and onions and stuff. And get these taters peeled and chopped up and in there. And I'll get back with you in a little bit. Okay, I turned the tea off, it's steeping. The eggs are almost done boiling. The potatoes are in the pot boiling. The chicken's in the oven. I got out my handy dandy empty ice cream bucket. These are so handy. To make my potato salad in, I chopped up a purple onion and some celery. I got out some dill relish. I got out Miracle, but I put it in the um, fridge till we're done because it's so hot. I got my water in here to dilute my tea in a minute and that's where we stand. I got my colander in the sink to drain the potatoes when the time comes. So we'll get back with y'all in a little while. Okie doke. We debated barbecue or hot or what. And we decided to go with hot. Um, we like hot wings. But wings are kind of hard to find nowadays. I remember when they were cheap. Anyway. So what we're going to do is take this wing sauce. And pour some on our legs. Chicken legs, y'all. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Tell you what's really good, get an injector and inject this stuff in. I used to take Tabasco and garlic and butter and melt it down. And literally inject it into chicken. And then cook the chicken and put more on. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in the oven. 
And then I'm going to work on my potato salad. Alright, I'm going to go dump these potatoes in a colander and get them chilled off. back with y'all in a minute. I got to get the eggs dumped and peeled and I got to get the mayonnaise back out of the fridge. Okay, my potatoes have been drained. I don't want them too mushy because you know, they're still soft. But you don't want them to just disintegrate. Okay, I'm going to add to this my purple onion. my celery. And you know red bell pepper is good in here too. I just didn't have one. Okay. Now I'm going to take a knife and cut up these eggs I just boiled and peeled. I'm going to get the peeling off. <laughs> and I'm just going to do it right over the thing. I'm not going to dirty another chopping block and all that again. I won't take that long to cut these. This looks good. We also, in my family, beside traditional potato salad like this, we make a German style one where you cook the sauce and it's got bacon in it. I'll have to make that for y'all sometime. But for today, we're just making this one. Plano potato salad. And I make and can my own relish thing for it that has all kind of veggies. But I like to keep that on hand for when I don't have any celery or onions or anything. <laughs> Get these cut up faster. Chicken smells good. However, if it's going to take a while, we might have to have a little of this while we wait. Since we haven't done lunch yet. Now, let me use up this older relish first. It might be enough, but I got a new one open just in case. I like dill. And you can use pickles, pickle relish, homemade relish, whatever you like. I'm right, another spoon of this. Yeah, make sure it's dill. Okay. Next up, I'm going to use. You can use mayonnaise, Miracle whatever you got. I'm going to use up this old Miracle Whip, and then I'm going to add some of that Aldi's whip dressing to the rest of it. And this might be enough. I don't know yet. Because I don't like it soupy. I'm going to throw some seasonings in. I'm going to add some pepper. Some Tony's. I don't know where my garlic powder is hiding. Here's, oh, there it is. Here's some garlic salt. This will double as my salt. I don't like to add a lot of salt. Uh, onion powder. When I was little, we did. I know everybody had, we always had a salt shaker on the table. Garlic powder. Alright. So I'm just going to mix this all up. I might have should have got a bigger bowl out to mix it in and then put it in this bucket. <laughs> Some people like it, like I said, a little squirt of mustard in here. I, I don't care for it. It's up to an individual. I know this one church we used to go to years ago, different town, they liked it when I put a little mustard in it when I was making it for a potluck day. And 
was always popular. I think I might put a little more dressing in there. What do y'all think? I like to add it a little at a time because you can always add more, but you can't add less. So let me see if I can open this. Oh, it looks pretty. Okay. Another big heaping. All right, y'all, I'm going to get this all mixed up and put all this stuff away, and I'll get right back with you. Okay, I'm adding a little paprika now. I think I'm going to add another spoon of pickles. It's really good, but I like a lot of flavor, color, and texture. So, I think this ought to make it perfect. It'll go from good to great. We're going to have to keep, we got all these spoons out where we've been tasting and see what else we want in it. We're going to taste it empty. <laughs> okay, I think that ought to do it. What do you think? I think it looks great. All right. So, mm, 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 mm. yeah, it's wonderful. Okay, so that is our potato salad. I'm going to get all this picked up, and then we'll check on our chicken. Okay, everyone, I'm hoping this is done. We're hungry, and it is. Time to eat. Oh, doesn't that look good and dangerous? <laughs> oh, yay. Roll that around in that delicious spicy sauce. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I'm trying to get one. <laughs> They're a little slippery. It's big on a small one to go with it. Okay. Let's get this one. Alrighty. Okay. And get us both a nice heaping spoon of this potato salad. We're assuming I can get a spoon out of here. Boy. I clean this up and still hard to get stuff out of. All right. Well, that's kind of crazy. Hold on. There we go. Oh, yum. I don't know about y'all, but I'm hungry and ready to eat. All right. That's done. Y'all take care and eat something good.